Interesting facts about famous people. For over a century, the silver screen has offered up more than its fair share of Western movies, and the actors that came with them, perhaps hundreds. I'm limiting this list to lead actors. I'm offering up these ten as what I think is a fair representation of the tippy top ten. Let me know what you think. Who is missing, and who should shuffle down the list? I'm ready to make a sequel to this video based on your comments. Here are what I think are the top ten best Western actors. Let's mosey on now. Starting the countdown with Lee Marvin, born Lamont Waltman Marvin Jr. Otherwise known as Lee Marvin, was an American actor famous for his deep voice and premature white hair. Best remembered for playing tough guy characters. Initially typecast as the heavy, he gained fame for portraying anti-heroes. Lee played in more than 20 Western movies in his career. A few notable mentions are The Comancheros, 1961, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, 1962, Cat Baloo, 1965, The Professionals, 1966, and Paint Your Wagon, 1969. Number 9. Robert Duvall. Robert Selden Duvall, born in 1931, is an American actor and filmmaker. His career spans more than seven decades, and he is considered one of the greatest American actors of all time. The recipient of many awards, a natural in the saddle and Western movies. He has made his mark on this genre. A few notable movies, Geronimo, An American Legend, 1993, True Grit, 1969, Joe Kidd, 1972, The Great Northfield Minnesota Raid, 1972, Lawman, 1971, Lonesome Dove, 1989, Open Range, 2003. Number 8. Burt Lancaster. Burton Stephen Lancaster, 1913 to 1994, was an American actor and producer known for playing tough guys with a tender heart. He achieved success with complex and challenging roles over a 45-year career in film, winner of many awards, very comfortable in the Western genre, having spent some time here. A few notable movies. Veracruz, 1954. Gunfight at the OK Corral, 1957. The Professionals, 1966. Lawman, 1971, Ulzana's Raid, 1972, Where? Buffalo Bill and the Indians, this 1976. Number, number seven, yeah. Steve McQueen, born Terence hey, Stephen Dick. McQueen, 1930 to 1980. Like His anti-hero persona, emphasized yeah. during the height of the counterculture of the 60s, made him a top box office draw for his films of the late 50s, 60s and 70s nickname The King of Cool. No stranger to many genres of film, very comfortable in westerns, thankfully for us. A few notable movies. The Magnificent Seven, 1960. Nevada Smith, 1966. Junior Bonner, 1972. And Tom Horn, 1980. Number six, Robert Mitchum. Born Robert Charles Durham Mitchum, 1917 to 1997. He rose to prominence with an Academy Award nomination for the Best Supporting Actor for the Story of G.I. Joe, 1945. Starring in several classic film noirs, his acting is generally considered a forerunner of the anti-heroes prevalent in film during the 1950s and 1960s. Mitchum probably wouldn't have gone as far as he did without his work in the Western genre. A few notable movies. Pursued, 1947. El Dorado, 1966. The Way West, 1967. The Good Guys and the Bad Guys, 1969. Number five, Henry Fonda. This remarkable, soft-spoken American began in films as a difficult juvenile. With passing years, he matured into a star character actor who exemplified not only integrity and strength, but an ideal of the common man fighting against social injustice and oppression. Perfect for a Western movie. A few notable movies. The Oxbow Incident, 1942. Fort Apache, 1948. How the West Was Won, 1962. The Cheyenne Social Club, 1970. 
My name is Nobody, 1973. Number four, James Stewart. Known for his distinctive draw and everyman screen persona, Stewart's film career spanned 80 films from 1935 to 1991. With the strong morality he portrayed both on and off screen, he epitomized the American ideal in the mid 20th century. He brought a sincere honesty to his Western movies. A few notable movies. Broken Arrow, 1950. The Man from Laramie, 1955. The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, 1962. The Shootist, 1976. Number three, Gary Cooper. A stoic American actor known for his strong, quiet screen persona and understated acting style. He was one of the top 10 film personalities for 23 consecutive years and one of the top money-making stars for 18 years. A natural in westerns. A few notable movies. The Westerner, 1940. Unconquered, 1947. Vera Cruz, 1954. The Hanging Tree, 1959. Number 2. Clint Eastwood. An iconic actor, film director, producer and composer. Achieving success in the Western TV series Rawhide, rose to fame with his role as the man with no name in Sergio Leone's Dollars Trilogy of Spaghetti Westerns during the mid-1960s and as anti-hero cop Harry Callahan in the five dirty Harry films throughout the 70s and 80s. Eastwood is an enduring cultural icon of masculinity. A few notable movies. A Fistful of Dollars, 1964. The Good, the Bad and the Ugly, 1966. Two Mules for Sister Sarah, 1970. High Plains Drifter, 1973, The Outlaw, Josie Wells, 1976, Unforgiven, 1992. Number one, John Wayne. Nicknamed the Duke, a name adopted from his dog. An actor who became a popular icon through his starring roles in films made during Hollywood's golden age, especially in Western movies. He appeared in a total of 179 film and TV shows consistently in the top box office for three decades. He shared the screen with many other Hollywood stars of his era. A few notable movies. The Big Trail, 1930. Stagecoach, 1939. Rio Grande, 1950. The Searchers, 1956. Rio Bravo, 1959. The Alamo, 1960. The Comancheros, 1961. The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, 1962. True Grit, 1969. The Shootist, 1976. Thanks for your time today. I hope you like the video. Please drop me your comments. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. It helps me a lot. Bye for now.